play again. I think I'm going to make this part of number seven. Um, and I'll attach it to a hopefully done version uh, of the um, subflooring. Anyway, I've been working on it all day, or a good portion of the day. And I have a lot more to go, obviously, as you can see. I've been trying to get the weird places that, uh, you know, that have to be cut in strange shapes, like between the wheel well and that wall like area that I'm going to kind of use. Um, I actually had this awesome plastic bin that fits perfectly in there for like a storage area. So after I put the subfloor down there, I just put that in there. Um, I don't have one for this side yet, but I did put the subfloor in there anyway. There's also a subfloor under these boards. The boards are actually holding it down um, because it's not exactly a straight uh, floor, um, just to try to get it to stick as well as possible. And the last one I just did goes all the way under this chair, and it was supposed to end at the where the floor and the uh, wheel well meet. Well, silly me, forgot about that that thing that sticks out of the wall part of the way. So that kind of got in my way because I measured it. I measured it the long way and that way, and I just did a rectangle instead of making an area for that little inlet there. So when I put it in, it didn't fit properly, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but I had already glued all the back of that piece of wood, so... What I did is um, I kind of, it's really, really thin wood, so I stepped on it and tried to crack it a little so it goes up the ramp of the wheel well. And of course, it's got that little break there, and I'm hoping to have some type of flooring covering all this mess. But uh, if not, I'll have to find a way to fix that. That's the only part that sucks. Everything else has pretty much come out the way I wanted it to so far. So I think... I think I'm going to take a break for now, and uh, I will add more on later. Take care. Bye. Hi, everyone. So today I did a lot more of the subflooring. I had cut them the other day to fit them into the places and put them where they were going to go and uh, glue them today. There is a lot more to do, uh, actually a little more to do, I should say. I just have to do this area where the aluminum insulation is still showing on the floor and uh, all the weird looking things like that <laughs> and that and that. These are all uh, just keeping the um, plywood as straight as possible while it dries and I will add more as I go along. Uh, and uh, the floor will be sort of a mishmash of things as well, um, which should be interesting, but I'm thinking that it's going to look a little bit neater than the subflooring. But I'm really happy with the job that I've done because I don't do this kind of stuff normally. <laughs> I've never done this kind of stuff before, so yay Val. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so I finished cutting all the pieces. And now I just have to glue them in. Um, they're as good as I'm going to get them. <laughs> of course, this one, this one does fit. It's just uh, kind of crooked. I'll have something leaning on that to stick for it to dry. And I'm hoping that today, once I get all these things glued and um, have stuff on top of them to keep them in place while they're drying... I may very well start working on the floor, but uh, we'll see. Uh, either way, once I get to working on the floor, you'll see that going on. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so here I am again. Everything is glued down and being weighed down to stick well and, you know, stay shaped as flat as possible. <laughs> um, 
and like I said I was going to cover this with the floor so I wasn't worried too much about all the little uh okay where's my finger there we are um all the little like uh spots missing wood um but that's okay uh so and then I wanted to check out some of this stuff um part of my floor is going to have those um recycled rubber mats glued to the floor uh, and um, I figured they'd probably be easy to wash and clean. I mean, yeah, they are textured, but um, they should be pretty easy to vacuum and uh, do a quick wash down if I have to uh, on like muddy days or something. Um, and of course, I got to get more of them, but I wanted to I wanted to get what I could on sale <laughs> uh, at Lowe's. Uh, I also got these tiles on sale as well. There are 10 of, I mean, 12 of them. So um, since this is the bathroom section, I am using this part uh, to start with the bathroom anyway. Um, because I have to, this is where the gas tank is. So, um, you know, where we have to fill up gas. So I have to cut around there and, um, you know, cut so it lies straight on this thing and uh, just so you know those aren't that's not dirt or anything it's just part of the rubber um, and uh, I'm not too worried about the corners and against the wall because that's where I'm going to be putting framing anyway so it should be covered pretty well uh, and uh, in a little bit I am just going to um, start gluing at least that part in after I shape it properly and go from there but the subflooring is finally done and so I am going to put all the subflooring videos together so you can see one whole video of the whole thing <laughs> thanks all right thank you for watching bye